Hello and welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to continue working problems with stoichiometry and using our chemical reactions and the technique that we're learning about here to calculate what the reaction is going to produce and what the reaction is going to consume. Uh, so up until now all of the problems we did in the last section were uh, stoichiometry problems but they're all just basically involving moles you know you have a reaction you have so many moles of this you're using how many moles of product are you going to get moles to moles pretty you know simple the way we were doing it in the last section here we're going to step up the complexity just a tiny bit uh, and now we're going to start to mix in grams uh, into all of this stuff so we're going to be dealing with moles but we're also going to be dealing with grams but don't worry about it because you know already that the periodic table has what we call a molar mass which is you know so many grams per mole we know how to convert between grams and moles because the periodic table tells us what everything what the mass of everything is in terms of of one mole of that guy so we can use that information to use those conversion factors now if you're not using the technique or if your book doesn't have the technique I'm showing you it can be much more complicated to figure out logically how to calculate the answers but I'll show you that using the exact same technique that we were doing in the last section any of these problems become super simple and super bulletproof so let's just go right into it let me put a reaction up on the board alright so let's take a look it's PBO so that's lead oxide that's a solid uh, plus NH3 and that's a gas and that yields PB which is lead that's a solid uh, plus N2 that's a gas plus H2O and that's a liquid in this case all right so we have lead oxide we have ammonia uh, we have lead nitrogen and we have water all right, so the first thing we do is we read the problem, figure out what the problem is telling us. So this is the reaction we have. Uh, the problem says how many grams of NH3 are consumed in this reaction with 75.0 grams of lead oxide. So it's telling you how many grams, it doesn't tell you how many moles, it's telling you how many grams of lead oxide you're starting with. And it's asking you how many grams of NH3 it's going to require to basically be reacted with that to have a complete reaction, right? Um, so what we need to do is use the stoichiometry to figure this out. But notice we're dealing with grams everywhere. We're not, it doesn't it say anything about moles. But what you need to figure out is what you need to sort of um, get the experience for is to understand that you're always going to have to go through moles to get to grams. And the reason you have to go through moles is because these, these coefficients in our reaction up here, they're always in terms of moles. So let's just go through it and figure out how we, how we do that. Now the first thing we need to, to do before we do anything is to see if this reaction is balanced. And uh, you'll see right away that it's not balanced, but let's check it. You have one lead, one lead. Okay, that's fine. One oxygen, one oxygen. Okay, that's fine. One nitrogen, two nitrogens. Well, that's not okay. Three hydrogens and two hydrogens. That's not okay either. So let's go ahead and rewrite the reaction just like we were doing in our in our uh, part we were balancing chemical reactions and figure out how to balance this guy. So PBO plus uh, NH3 yields PB plus N2 plus H2O. I haven't done anything. All I've done is basically rewrite this guy. Uh, so what we need to do is try to balance it. So if we look here, we can start in lots and lots of different places, but immediately what we're going to see is that there's two nitrogens over here and there's one nitrogen here so let me start by putting a two here to make give me two nitrogens and two nitrogens now let me go and rewrite the reaction again just so you can see all the steps plus two NH3 yields PB plus N2 plus H2O alright so we continue looking around trying to find stuff to to balance here and we'll notice now we have one lead, one lead, one oxygen, one oxygen, two nitrogens, two nitrogens, six hydrogens. We only have two hydrogens, so let's put a three here to make me have six hydrogens. So I've balanced the hydrogen. So let me go back and rewrite again. PBO plus two NH3 yields PB plus N2 plus three H2O. Now in the process of doing that, we kind of screwed up things a little bit because the lead is still balanced, the oxygen 